great service today, and I'm really glad you're here. Let's stand, please, for a word of prayer, and then we'll have a time as we worship the Lord in music and song. Our Father, thank you so much that you give us this opportunity to use our voices and to use music to lift up our voices as praise and worship to uh, the Most High God. There's no one like you. There's no one even close to you. And yet, Lord, in your great and infinite uh, beauty and majesty, you came across to us to dwell amongst us. And we're here to worship you today. We're here because Jesus is in our midst. You've said whatever two of you are gathered together in your name, you're here. And we're glad, Lord, that we get to meet together with you. So I pray that you'll bless this day and may be used to bring glory to your name and also may be used to uh, that your gospel can be spread far and wide beginning here today. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
We are here this morning because Christ has risen from the grave. He's forgiven our sins. We're going to celebrate that this morning uh, with baptism of three boys. Y'all in here. And uh, tribute to what Christ has done for us and how he has saved us.
life title. That you conquered the grave, that you rose from the grave, Lord. And that's why we're here this morning is to celebrate that, to celebrate what you've done in our lives and what you've done in the lives of other people. So Father, we dedicate and commit this time to you. As we sing to you, as we take these words that have been penned for us and put to music, and we sing them to you, Father. May I pray that they would come from the depths of our heart as we sing with joy to you.
your grace and your presence this morning. It's in Jesus' name I pray. You may be seated. Again, I want to thank you for being with us at the great church today. And uh, it's a special occasion. Many of you are visiting with us because of the uh, baptism of these boys. And I want to welcome you to Grace. And may the grace of God be upon you. Uh, just before we baptize them, we have a short video clip of each one giving a testimony of how they came to know Jesus and why it is they wanted to follow in this uh, ceremony of baptism. I just want to explain it. Uh, to you real quickly. Uh, baptism is something that we do as kind of a, a, a public outward expression of something that's happened by faith in our heart. Uh, I wear on my hand a wedding ring. This wedding ring doesn't mean that it doesn't, doesn't marry me. If I take the wedding ring off, I'm still a married man. Before I put it on, I got married, but then uh, after I got married, I put on the wedding ring, it was a marker. It identified me as being a married man. It just so happens if I take it off now, I have some marks left behind that still identify me as a married man. But baptism is somewhat the same thing. It's something that we do as an outward expression, as a public testimony, and so you'll see that each one of these uh, young men, as they come give their testimony, they're going public. This is the way that they that the scriptures have provided for us in order to make a public profession of our now identification with the death of Jesus Christ and the fact that he rose again from the dead. That's the fantastic thing. Yes, it's true, Jesus died, but it's even more important that he rose again. That's our hope and that's what's expressed in this act of baptism. So um, we'll have this baptism and you just uh, enjoy and participate. Declaration 
front of everyone that I'm a Christian and I recognize that Christ died for my sins and I'm saved by his grace. Baptize you now, my brother, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried in his likeness. Amazed in his resurrection. Yeah. 
Children can be dismissed to their classes. 